in the gospel text of today, Jesus does two things. First, he defends his disciples. And second, he gives us the reason for that defense. The background is that some people come to Jesus to say, there are other rabbis, there are other teachers, there are other masters, and they too have disciples. We look at those disciples of those rabbis and teachers and masters, and we find that they are fasting, they are saying prayers, they are trying to be holy. But your disciples seem to be enjoying life. Your disciples are not fasting. Your disciples are not seen in the temples and synagogues praying. How can you be a rabbi? And Jesus defends his disciples in these words where he considers himself as the one who has been sent so that people may enjoy life. You can be holy by enjoying life. You can be holy by doing the things that you enjoy. You can be holy not by putting on a morose face, by looking sad, by looking gloomy, by fasting and showing everyone that you are fasting. How is it that the people could see that the disciples of the other rabbis were fasting? Because... They were possibly showing it on their faces. And Jesus says, no, my way is not the way of fasting as an end in itself. If fasting is a means to an end, if prayer is a means to an end, if almsgiving is a means to an end, it is fine. But prayer, fasting, almsgiving, or any other pious practice can never be an end in itself. It must be a means to reach God. And so my disciples will fast when there is a need to fast, when they want to reach God, when they want to go towards God, not simply as an end in itself. Second, Jesus shows that he is indeed the one who has come to proclaim God's good news. Many of us, unfortunately, associate holiness with being sad. Holiness with not enjoying life. Holiness with not living life to the full. And if we do that, we are mistaken. As a matter of fact, the holiest people are the happiest people. The holiest people enjoy every moment of life. There is never a dull moment in the life of a holy man or woman. A beautiful example is Jesus himself, who was able to have such beautiful humor, who was able to laugh at life, who was able to live life so comfortably, so easily, because... He was the holy of holies. Are you associating holiness with being morose and sad? Are the external pious actions that you perform, prayer, almsgiving, fasting, and any other activity done to show others how holy you are? Are your pious activities ends in themselves or will they be means to an end? Will you, as a disciple of God, remember that holiness must come from within and that to be holy means to enjoy every single moment of life to the fullest?